We will choose the overlays for the FX Ops scoreboard because they will, they were flexible. So these are the overlays using the Frosty editor. When you open them, so we we're gonna export the file. Then you can turn your you're gonna just make the same folders. Make it more organized. So we export the overlay overlay ninety 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 two. Yeah. That's for the main scoreboard. The one that will appear when you're playing the game throughout. Not for the introduction part. Then we want to export this. The single DDS file, that's a graphic file. We want to open that. And that's that's actually going to be the this the single one we're editing together with the logo. Together with the logo. So that's that's the base of the scoreboard. It 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 felt right. Okay, so we we so we're gonna use game or Photoshop, you can use whichever you're comfortable with, but I found GIMP is better because it's simpler. It's not as big as Photoshop in terms of size. And this is the, this is the, these are the scoreboards for the, for the Euro 24 game competition. That's, that's the reference for the base part of the scoreboard. So that's that's how the base part is going to appear. And this is it when you load when you load it into game. Yeah, game generally means you know, something about image manipulation. So you drag the scoreboard reference and you can just you can you can take the color codes through through this this tool in game. So you you already have the scoreboard colors, the colors you're gonna use. Well, this part is all about making the scoreboard look a bit you look no look more like the Euro Top twenty four scoreboard. And we also have the image directions for the effect of scoreboard in gear in the FIFA nineteen gear. How it looks generally and this is how it this is how it looks. So you so you, you try to configure it and you try to graphically change it. And this change when you import this image into the frosty to the first editor and load the mode, it's, it's going to appear like this over there. Here's the reference again. This is how the scoreboard looks when you're in game in FIFA 19. Yeah, now let's load the, the reference again so that we can take the code of the 
green bar at the bottom at the bottom of the scoreboard Yeah, and this is the first part. This is part one of of Xcobot creation tutorial. The second part is going to evolve more about the edit all the X codes, edit all the MGO codes, so that you can not change the font, the font colors, yeah, and to other sort of things. Then I'm going to do the other the other parts for the other parts of the scoreboard for the. Uh, for the ale chopper, the commentary pop ups, the nail ups, ale in the front other parts. And all the links are in the description of Evoke. Yeah, you know, see the, the overly looks. So this is how it's going to look in the game. When you import, when you import the, the DDS file into Frosty Editor. Oh, that's this that part. So in the, in the second part, I'll show you how it looks. And I'll also share this file. In the description, you can also check and see that it actually looks like that in gear. All the files are in the description, and thank you for watching the video. That's it for part two.